Hey guys, it's Anna Malek and I built this uh, garden light circuit and I'll show you how it works. So when light's present, um, this LED will turn off and uh, the photoresistor is right here. That's what um, measures the light. So if I turn on this light, uh, it turns off and if I turn it back off, it'll turn back on. And you can adjust the sensitivity um, with this potentiometer right there. Um, and the way this works is uh, the two main components are the two transistors uh, right inside here. Um, and these, all these resistors create a series of voltage dividers that, um, that, will, uh, that are connected to the base pins of the transistors and will uh, trigger this light and make it more like um, more reactive so to give you an example because I have two transistors with voltage dividers um, comparing voltages and telling this one to turn on and off it's there's not a whole lot of time where like it's either on or off the LED is either on or off and so this resistor right here um, is also a voltage divider connected to uh, connected to pos or connect yeah connected to um, ground and uh, connected by the photoresistor to positive, uh, creating a voltage voltage divider with a variable voltage on the base pin. So if this base pin is triggered, this one is this transistor uh, receives that trigger and is and powers the LED which and because it, there's a transistor here makes it more reactive um, and there's a lower like there's a uh, thinner line between uh, light and no light uh, as far as the circuit knows um, so uh, For this circuit, I used a lot of really kind of high res resistance uh, resistors because this is one of those circuits that would be powered by a s kind of a small battery and you know charge up with solar power during the day. So it would have to be um, a really low power circuit. So uh, by using uh, high resistance resistors for most of the um, voltage dividers. Um, I minimize the power loss because voltage dividers connect positive uh, with ground, uh, positive with ground through resistors. And if if you have low resistance to resistors, you're gonna be shorting out, shorting the uh, the power rails out a lot more and losing a lot more power than if you short them out a lot less. A lot a lot less power can go from positive to negative and you will lose a lot less power. So high resistance resistors lose a lot less power and I was able to get this circuit down uh, the uh, amperage drive when it's off down to um, I'll show you down to Um, down to about 1.34 milliamps uh, and that's really not a lot of power at all uh, so even though it's 5 volts uh, so that's it draws about um, 0 0.005 milliwatts uh, so that's pre uh, yeah 0 0.005 watts I mean um, so that's pretty good, or point zero zero six somewhere around there. So that's pretty good. Uh, and when it's on, it draws about seventy two milliamps. Um, so yeah, it's not. It's really not a very high power circuit, and it could easily be powered by a small battery. Uh, the circuit I'd have to work out next is 
getting a solar charger circuit to work that would power this at that would charge that would charge up a battery during the day while this is off and turn it on turn on uh and supply power it to to the circuit at night and have it actually last and be a low power circuit uh then I could go somewhere with this but right now it's just kind of sitting on my desk all right uh I will see you next time.